It's really exciting to think about Google and music together because first of all, I use Google every day. It's my phone is Android. Anytime anyone tells me to listen to new music, I Google it. These days, as an independent musician, means I bartend five days a week. You end up being your own manager. My own booking agent. We are our own roadies. We drive the van ourselves. I don't drive, I'm not allowed to drive. Ruin our trailer ourselves. I learned HTML two years ago, which was an experience. <laughs> if you're independent, nobody's handing you anything. You have, to, you have to go take it. When you're doing it by yourself, it's sort of like, all right, what do we have? Jerry works at a soup kitchen, and he brings us food sometimes. <laughs> Basically, it's not easy. No. I definitely think that I could sell more music with um, a better platform. Google is bringing the music directly to fans now. This platform definitely seems like I'm able to have control. I'm all about the bargains, so I'm all excited about this. You can um, make your own price. You have the option of letting people listen to your whole albums for free. Uh, you can share it with your friends. I make a lot of YouTube videos. You can have a link on the top of the video sending you right over to Google Music to have people download the song. It gives people an opportunity of exposure without having to think that you need to be signed to a label. Music fans don't have to search as hard to find someone like me. As an artist, you know, you want to get your music to the most people as possible and, you know, to work with a company like Google that has such an amazing reach like that, I mean, it's really, you know, it's really a tremendous opportunity for any artist. It's not every day that you get, like, a, a massive search engine, you know, turning, turning uh, the music business into a more even playing field for independent artists.